The man was watching a war movie at home. The realism of the sound effects puzzled him. The next second... Soon firefighters arrived. The scene before them left everyone astonished in such an open area. How could an F-16 fighter jet collide with a residential building? It turned out that just moments ago, 911 received a distress call. The man claimed his plane was about to crash and asked them to send someone to rescue him. Is this a light aircraft? No. F-16. F is in fighter jet? Only then did everyone realize that the caller was a fighter pilot. In a sudden accident, he found himself hanging from an unknown structure. But compared to the pilot, people were more concerned about the crashing plane. What was despairing was that because the pilot chose to parachute, the operating system assumed it was in enemy territory and stopped sending signals to the base. No one knew where the plane was now, and thus began the scene described earlier. Fortunately, the woman was fine, but the man was pinned down by the plane on the sofa, his legs numb and breathing because Becoming difficult. He needed to be rescued immediately. Yet just as everyone prepared to cut the sofa, the firefighter suddenly found a leak in the plane's fuel tank. Even a tiny spark at this moment could lead to disastrous consequences. What surprised everyone even more was when they finally identified the object pressing the man. It was a missile mounted on the aircraft. Contacting the rescued pilot, they learned that the plane was carrying a dummy bomb. So if it was a dummy bomb, remote controlling the plane to eject it would allow them to get the man. Well, it is. It's for the target range, it's still an explosive. It's not like it's gonna blow up the whole neighborhood or anything. Probably just a house tent. Maybe the one next door. However, the man couldn't hold on much longer. Under the pilot's guidance, the firefighters decided to disarm the bomb, but just as they finally opened the cover and exposed the wires inside. Go ahead and snip that red wire. What he was about to cut, the pilot suddenly said, Disconnect the white low voltage coupling. Oh my, it was so close. But as soon as they disconnected the voltage coupling and were about to cut the red wire, Okay, go ahead and cut that green wire. Everyone was confused. Didn't the pilot say it was the red wire? Did I? Yeah. He said red. You sure? Even the operator in the call center was bewildered. Uh, let's go with red. This completely stunned everyone in place. However, at that moment, the man passed out completely unresponsive. The team had no choice but to quickly act. In the end, they decided to cut the red wire. Just as the firefighter was about to proceed, a teammate was astonished to find an armrest on the man's sofa. Then he just flipped it over and as the backrest fell, the man slipped out from under the bomb. Guys! Hey! Guys! Guys! Finally, they managed to rescue him safely. Major, can I ask a question? When disarming the payload, after disconnecting the voltage coupling, red or green wire? Red, obviously. 